Welcome to Creative Drawings, where embroidery magic begins. I'm Sonny Grint, and I'm excited to get you started with your Creative Drawing software. The Getting Started curriculum is designed to teach you the basics of using Creative Drawings. Then you can apply what you've learned to other designs. The curriculum is divided into three different lessons. Lesson 1 is how to create your embroidery. Today we're going to create a teddy bear. Lesson 2 is adding lettering and a symbol to your teddy bear. And Lesson 3 is how to create an outline embroidery of your teddy bear. Go to creative-drawings.com and download this lesson so you can follow along after you print it out. So let's get started with Lesson 1. Lesson 1 has four different parts and we'll stop after each part so you can follow along. Part 1 is how to open a vector file and create a design. Part 2 is how to change a step fill pattern and direction of your stitches. Part 3 is changing colors. And Part 4 is how to save your design for your embroidery machine. Remember to visit our website creative-drawings.com to download and print out the lessons so you can follow along. So are you ready? Let's get started. When you open Creative Drawings, a new design window appears. Make sure that Create New has a little bullet next to it, and then click Next. In the From File every area, we're going to choose a sample file from the Creative Drawing samples that were installed when you installed your Creative Drawing software. Go ahead and choose the little Browse button and click on that in the From File area. There are many different designs and files to choose from. You can use the up-down arrows on your keyboard as well as the left and right arrows to scroll down and see what different designs are available. You can also use the slider bar on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and do that. Click and drag on that slider bar until you scroll all the way down and you see design number 346. 346 is the little teddy bear that we're going to be changing into stitches today. This teddy bear is in the preview window. Once you see him in the preview window, you have 346 highlighted. Click Open. Notice in the From File area, number 346 is there as well. Once you make sure that 346 is there, click Next. The Select Fabric window is very important. You have six different choices of fabric to choose from. These different styles of fabric are very important in your design. The type of fabric you choose will tell Creative Drawings how to adjust the underlay, density, and other settings for your design. Embroidery Normal gives a general setting for sewing on most medium weight woven fabrics. You can also click on the little plus next to Embroidery Normal and you can see different looks to the fabric as well. Scroll down until you see standal, Standard Normal and make sure that's highlighted. You also want to choose a light color for your background. You can always change to a color that's more similar to what you're going to stitch out on later. Today we want to choose a light colored background so that you can see the design very well. Click Next. In the Color Reduction window, this is where you can change the number of colors to a lower number than what the program has chosen for you. You can see how several of the colors have collected together and they've been combined to one single color. Today we want to use the maximum number of colors for our teddy bear design and that's nine. So make sure nine is when is right there where it says threads to use and click finish. That's it. You have created your very first embroidery, this little teddy bear. 
Now it's your turn. Follow the first part of this lesson, then come back to learn about how to change the fill and direction of the teddy bear's fur.